Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be bedazzling my money bag with you guys as well as doing a little stripper Q&A just answering a couple questions. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I just got this bedazzler off of Amazon. Um, I'll put my affiliate link below for you guys. Um, but it's just super cute. It came in this like little box. It's really cute. Um, it, this is like the main thing and you can have different like tops for like the different size crystals comes with like a little glove tweezers uh, the different size tops this thing to help pick up the crystals and then a bunch of different crystals in here to choose from as well as some like patterns so that's pretty cute it's a super good way to like bring any outfit or any bag or anything like that to life like if you're at the club and you just have little bikinis if you just put a couple bedazzles on them and you can do it literally so quick at home and this is not expensive um you can literally just like add so much oomph to your outfits like make you stand out so much more and it'll help you make a lot more money so it's a super simple little hack you can do it at home um but it makes a big difference and it's kind of fun so uh, yeah, so you just want to get like a little something to put underneath um, in between like the fabric because they might bind together. Okay, so I just put this um, box in between there. I'm going to just push it to the corner. So I'll start on the corner um, and then I'm going to get my little crystals ready. Okay, so I decided I'm going to use uh, these like little iridescent crystals. Uh, they're pretty cute. I'm going to use like maybe some big ones and then some small ones in between. Uh, so I'm just going to take them out. After that, um, after your thing is done heating up, you put like this little top on and hopefully this is the right size. Um, I'm going to try it. So I'm just going to push the diamond where I want it and then I'm just going to press down for like 10 seconds ish and then it should be on there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that all over and then um, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna try to multitask and answer some stripper questions for you guys. <laughs> so wish me luck. Um, okay, so the first question that I'm gonna be answering um, is how much does it cost to start dancing? Um, so this is really different everywhere you go. Um, some states actually require you to get some kind of like, um, license either like a liquor license or just a, a dancer license or a background check i know that when i was in australia i never had to do any kind of um license or background check or anything like that when i was in hawaii one of the places i worked at um they made you do like a uh, a liquor license and so i think that that was like 70 to 100 dollars. i can't really remember but the most expensive place to start dancing so far for me has been Texas because they make you do a, a background check and you have to pass the background check. So I think that that's like $100 and um, you have to do that for every club that you work at. So if you want to work at like multiple clubs, you're going to have to pay $100 um, before you work at any of the clubs. So if you want to work at like three different clubs, it's going to be $300. Um, but just like just for one, it's just a hundred. Also, you're gonna have to think about the door fee. Um, the majority of clubs actually like don't make you pay door fee on your first night dancing there, and um, you might have to like tip out, but you usually don't have to pay door fee. Um, that's like literally been all the places I've worked at. I don't think I've ever had to pay door fee on the first night. Um, but actually, actually, I take that back. I have paid door fee on the first night. So you might have to pay door fee on the first night. So um, usually they'll let you pay at the end of the night, especially if it's your first night. Um, but um, you might have to prepare for that. So just know how much the door fee is and I would just bring that just in case. The last thing that you're gonna have to think about um, with the cost of starting dancing, of course, is looking the part, you know? Is your hair done? Are your nails done? I mean, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can literally get like the $2 nails off Sheen or like, um, they have like $12 ones at Long's and then once you have like your nails and you need makeup too um, But you'll probably already have that um, And once you have that you need to make sure that you have an outfit to wear for that night It doesn't have to be anything crazy literally my first night I literally just wore laundry that I had inside my freaking closet that was just like a black panty and a black bra and I got some fishnets some black fishnets and I thought that, that was like 
that was a good outfit so and it, it was totally fine like it was totally fine you know what i mean like it was it totally worked and that was only a couple dollars and i also just wore some heels that i had some platform heels looking back uh so cringe but that is what happened years and years ago um <laughs> i i wouldn't recommend doing that if you're able to get dancer shoes um that's definitely um preferred but if it's your very first night it's fine to just grab some heels that you already have um try to get them as comfortable as possible because dancing you're going to be on your feet so much that's why dancer heels are just so important because um because they're just so much more comfortable than normal shoes and they really support your feet in a good way so you don't want to be walking around on normal heels anyway because they're just not the same uh quality as dancer shoes um and also you just look like a baby stripper you know you look like you are brand new because if you've been there for longer than a couple days you're gonna have stripper heels you know what i mean so um it's totally fine though so you can always just do that um if i i said it in another video fashion nova has these like 20 dollar um clear like they look like stripper heels and they're like 20 bucks and it's definitely not a long-term solution but if you just want kind of something not too expensive to start off with um, and that way you don't have to buy, you know, a hundred, a hundred fifty, two hundred dollar, um, shoes, uh, right off the bat. You can make a little bit of money first. So you could always just start with the Fashion Nova shoes for your first, um, couple shifts until you have enough money to buy pleasers. And then I would invest in pleasers right away or your dancer shoes right away. But yeah, so you just got to take into consideration your like state laws, you know, what the fees that they have. Um, if you have to get a license for the club or not, if you have to get a background check for the club or not, and then also the door fees, of course, and then just like your little maintenance for yourself, just looking good and having something to wear. Um, but it really doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, so overall, it's really not expensive to start dancing. Um, if you're in a state that it, that they do require a license or a background check, you are going to have to spend like $100 or $200. Um, but... Um, just figure out what like the laws are in your state and uh, go from there. So the second question I'm going to be answering is, do you have to have a certain type of body to be a dancer? Um, so this really just depends on the club as well. Because I have literally worked at a lot of clubs and I have seen it all. I have seen all shapes. I've seen all sizes. I've seen all kinds of looks. You know, it really just is dependent on the club and what type of look that they're going after. Um... But for my first answer, I'm going to say no, you don't have to have a certain type of body to be a dancer because I've literally seen every type of girl, every type of body. I've worked with so many different body types, so many different girls, so many different styles, and everyone's always made money. So you don't have to have a certain type of body to be a stripper. Um, you definitely need a certain type of body to be a stripper at certain clubs. Uh, certain clubs, you know, there are certain clubs that are looking for really skinny girls and they really won't hire anyone even if they're like a big booty girl with like the as hot as fuck, you know, they, they want skinny girls so they're not going to hire her. Or there's like BBL clubs and they just want the, you know, big boobs, small waist, big butt. They want that look, you know, they want that unrealistic fake body look and that's what they're going after. So if you don't have that look, it's going to be hard for you to get hired um, if you're skinny, if you're super thick. Um, but there's tons of clubs that will literally accept everything and have a variety of customers that want all different shapes and sizes So you'll still be making a lot of money and there's also clubs where you know, like um, Where like big girls will do better or like um, or like alternative girls will do better or like rocker girls will do better or goth girls You know, there's clubs where everything <laughs> there's so many different niches and I've really seen it all, so you just gotta look around and see what's out there because there's clubs for every type and you just gotta kinda look around and find those clubs, find the ones that'll work for you. Um, but no, you don't have to have a certain type of body um, to be a dancer. Uh, you definitely wanna take care of yourself. You need to be in shape because you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, cardio all night. You're gonna be dancing all night. You're gonna need to be put together, you know, looking your best, hair and makeup and nails and everything done. But overall body type, I've really seen all different types of body types and I've seen everyone be successful. So go for it. You know, as long as you're taking care of yourself, you have good hygiene, you're physically in shape, you're able to dance all night, 
then go for it. It's an opportunity for everyone to um, have fun and make money dancing. Okay, the next question that I'm gonna be answering is, um, can you dance at more than one club at a time? Okay, so this is also just dependent on where you are, um, the clubs that you're working at, um, their dynamic between the other clubs and all of that. So I'm gonna give you guys like a few examples. So some clubs will make it pretty difficult for you to work at other clubs. Like they'll make it a mandatory four days a week. So if you wanna work at other clubs, it's like, well, you still gotta be doing four days here. So you're gonna just be working all the time. You know what I mean? So they make it kind of hard. Um, but I've seen both scenarios where clubs totally don't mind if you work at other clubs. Usually this is when you're in like a bigger city, there's tons of dancers, you know, all the clubs have lots of dancers, um, you know, they're not struggling um, and, you know, they they don't care. They you know there's such an influx of dancers at all times. They have enough for everyone. They don't mind if you work at other clubs. It's not like that. But I've also seen in places like, for example, in Hawaii, it's extremely like, um, competitive like they see the other clubs as like straight like competition and like if if you go and work at another club you have completely betrayed you are have been not loyal and you'll get fired like I literally have seen girls get fired because they went to different strip clubs just on their night off as like a customer and they came in with the wristband or someone had like told on them or something like that and they literally get fired for not being loyal and like supporting another club it's like that serious like it's so funny so but that's also because there's a lot less girls um in the clubs in hawaii uh like there's smaller clubs so there's not hundreds of girls working uh you know there's like you know there's like 10 to 50 girls working so they need to make sure that the girls that they have working are going to show up to work so they can't be like they can't afford to have you working at other clubs they need to know that you're going to be um, they're at their club, their girls are their girls. So it's really a big deal in certain places. Probably it's like that in like small towns. If you're in a small town, uh, the clubs aren't gonna want you like dancing at other clubs just because there's not as many girls and they really need to be able to rely on their dancers to show up. And you know, they kind of have more of like a family dynamic instead of just like you can come and go as you please sort of thing. So it just depends on where you are, but some clubs are super, um, super okay with it. I've even worked at a club where you can just, if you are coming from a different club, you're allowed to come even later and you'll pay like a smaller door fee because it's your second club of the night and they totally support it. You know what I mean? Like it's totally not a problem, problem at all. And it's pretty funny, like coming from like, um, clubs where they're like so serious about it. It feels like wrong trying to work at different clubs, but they really don't care, you know what I mean? So um, it just depends on where you are. And like there are benefits to working multiple clubs. I personally never done it just because I feel like I barely have the stand amount to like be at the club for like the four hours that I already am at the club for. <laughs> um, but let alone like have two clubs in a row. Like I feel like once I left the first club, I just go home. Um, but lots of girls do it, you know, like they'll like make some money at the first club, like it might be better a little bit earlier and then the second club is better later. So they'll use like both of them um, or just like just like switch it up. Like if the first club isn't going that good, then they'll come over to the second club. Um, so it definitely can have benefits. Uh, they might just have like different styles and it kind of switches it up and change a pace. So it helps you like hustle harder. But yeah, it's really different everywhere you go. So well, let's see how the front side looks. I just finished. Um, so yeah, it's so cute. It's like, now it's got a bunch of little jewels on it. Um, I really wanted to do this mainly because uh, my house mom like sells these bags. So a lot of the girls in my club have the same exact money bag. So I just wanted to make mine a little bit different. That way I knew which one was mine immediately. Like sometimes you're in a booth with other girls or you're on stage next to a girl and both of your bags are there. You know what I mean? So I just did this to um, uh, make mine a little blinked up and stand out. And you can also do this to your outfits. I've done this to so many of my outfits. Um, you can definitely take like smaller ones and add some like dimension. I just did one size because I was like lazy. and um, But yeah, it's still super cute. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys like that stripper Q&A and little bedazzle sesh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And as always, like and subscribe for more stripper vlogs and videos. Thanks for watching.